hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you a very easy and quick recipe of bread that is called shahi tukra it's so much yummy and delicious to eat and gets ready very quickly so guys let's see the recipe here i'm taking four pieces of white bread now i'm going to cut the sides of the bread like this the sides are already over roasted and we are going to fry the bread so we need to cut the part off to balance the taste of the shahi tukras it's done now i am going to make two pieces out of one like this two triangles you may make size and shape according to your wish there is no problem according to same process i am going to make all the bread pieces ready and they are done and here i have put some oil in the pan and turn the heat on after the oil is heated a little i am adding some bread pieces in the oil and now we need to fry them on medium heat until nice red color i am flipping them after some time of frying and this way we need to make a nice red color bright red color and they are done as you can see i am taking them out of the oil draining the oil nicely and taking them out in the same process we need to fry all the bread pieces like this so after frying all the bread pieces we need to go for the next process here are all of them now we need to go for the next process we need to boil some milk I have taken the oil out of the kadhai and now I am adding some ghee. Ghee means clarified butter. In the ghee, we need to roast some dry fruits. I am taking only some almonds and some raisins. You may take any kind of dry fruits as uh, as you like or as available near you. After frying for two minutes on medium heat, now I am going to add some milk. I am going to add only one glass of milk because I am going to add some malai. Malai means milk cream to make it thicker. And now I am adding about one teaspoon of green cardamom powder for a nice flavor. Some sugar according to taste, less than half cup of sugar, and only two pinches of salt to enhance the taste of the sugar. After mixing well, we need to bring a boil. If you are not going to add any kind of malai or condensed milk or powder milk, then uh, take the quantity of milk double and reduce it to half of the quantity. That means take about two glasses of milk and reduce it to one glass. And now I am taking about one bowl of milk cream. This is milk cream stored in the freezer for about uh, two days. And after mixing this milk cream, the milk will be thicker than before. Now we need to bring the milk to a boil. You may use condensed milk or powder milk instead to make it thicker. And now I am going to add the bread pieces, roasted bread pieces, deep fried uh, one by one. I am not going to add them uh, for a long time. I am just going to dip them in the milk and remove them in the plate again. So after adding them, I am going to remove all of them one by one. So I am using this strainer. After adding the bread pieces in the milk, don't wait for a long time because the bread will be very soft and it will be hard to remove them. So quickly I am going to remove them. I am using this strainer for removing them. I am placing them in the plate like this. I am going to remove all of them and decorate them in plates. I am going to use two plates for this process. After removing the bread pieces, we need to boil the milk for some time to make it thicker than before. After boiling for about 3 to 4 minutes on medium heat, I think the consistency is perfect for shahi tukra. So, I am turning the gas off and removing the kadhai. After removing the kadhai, I am going to add the milk, the uh, thickened milk in the shahi tukras. These are the plates. So, on the breads, we need to add the milk, spread the milk basically like this. We need to spread the milk nicely so that all the bread pieces uh, can be soaked in the milk and they can be very soft. I am decorating a little with some uh, chopped dry fruits. 
and now our shahi tukras are ready as you can see they are so much yummy after cooling down fully keep the plates in the refrigerator for some time for about 10 to 15 minutes and after that serve the shahi tukras they are so much delicious to eat so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me thank you so much